welcome Sharon Lauren. I'm better for seeing that clip with the three of those ladies. They're like the Spice Girls. Aren't they? You know, they're amazing. Something else. Yeah. You're a Streisand fan, I know. Huge. Want to say happy birthday to her? Oh, what a dream, Miss Streisand. Happy birthday. I sat sort of next to a row beside behind her at the Emmys one time. No kidding. Yeah, I did. Did it, it make you a little nervous and jittery? Um, it made me feel like I had arrived. Really? So when she comes on the show, which don't you think it'll happen someday? I don't know. I don't want to pressure her. That's not the reason we're doing this. It's not trying to get her. I'm just celebrating her birth today. I know, and I'm glad. Yeah, I am yeah. Glad. I'm glad that you have a sitcom now. Although I love John NYPD Blue. Thank you. We didn't see you that much after a while. Well, you know, you have a baby in real life, and you get toys on your desk. You have a baby right. on a show about cops and robbers and murders, and you end up in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. But you were naked occasionally. <laughs> That's probably how she got pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your butt on TV. You know, I heard about you commenting on it, and I want to thank you. Yeah? Because of all the times, it's really only been twice, but the first time was a shower scene that some people might remember. They only commented about Dennis's rear. Now, I worked so hard yeah. to get in shape, and it's as if it didn't matter. It's as if it wasn't, I wasn't there. No. So thank you for acknowledging all the hard work and... It definitely paid off. Can I say, if my butt looked like yours, I'd be naked right now. <laughs> That's all I want to say. I got it out. There it is. Uh, you can borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're, um, tell how it, it's a lot different doing a half-hour sitcom than an, an hour drama show, huh? Yeah, the characters are, are definitely different. The, the process is different. You work in front of a live audience, and you rehearse like you do a play. But the biggest difference, really, between these two characters is not the heart and the soul, it's the wardrobe. And I gotta yeah. tell you, I'm, I'm happy that I don't have to wear those frumpy clothes that Sylvia did anymore. But I don't really like to, to shop that much. And so yeah. now I'm having to come up with clothing ideas and constantly in fittings for Gwen because she's a clothes hound and she loves to shop. And I wish I, that there were granimals for adults, the, the kind of clothes oh, that you would match I up. Love you guys those remember those? Granimals. Yeah, hippopotamus and hippopotamus. This is what you wear on Tuesday. And it was so much easier. Do they still make those? I don't think I they don't do. I don't think they do either. I think we got them at Sears when I was a kid. Yeah, remember? probably. They were good. Or pennies. Or pennies. Yeah. Or Corvettes. Do you remember E.J. Corvettes? That was a store? Yes. I know it, it was, was a here car. In, no, it was here on uh, Long Island in New York. Shop the other Corvettes, shop the other Corvettes, the Corvettes. It's sick, Sharon. It's like a disease I Is have. it a French clothing line or No, it's, no. It, it, it was like a penny. It was like a oh. lower class pennies. Yeah. And it no. didn't survive, it did didn't. it? It didn't, okay. no. Then, e, then Klein's took over the store. Klein's. And it did better, right? It did better. Yeah. And Howie Norton, my neighbor, got his foot caught in the escalator and sued them. <gasps> and I always thought that's why Klein's closed. <laughs> but I don't know if that's the truth, but... Uh, can you stay? Because don't go anywhere. Okay, I didn't even sure. get to talk to you. Sure. I was so, you know, infatuated with whatever. <laughs> we'll be back with Sharon Lawrence after this. <laughs> Bob Hope Special, 1963. She's the best. Elegant, those long arms and her fingers. She has the longest fingers. She Did does. You notice it? She's yeah. incredible. She is incredible. Yeah. You're incredible. I saw you on Star Trek with Kate Mulder. <gasps> that was so much fun. I played Amelia Earhart, but I was frozen. Yeah. Uh, frozen Amelia Earhart. She was in a cryogenic state. Mm -hmm. They found her. She's a popsicle. And, um, <laughs> and what was amazing was you were talking about Siobhan Ryan. Well, I was a huge Ryan Hopes. Fan. Huge, Give huge. Me a bucket. Five on I'm that telling sister friend. you, I would stay home from school, eat chicken and noodle soup when I was sick, and just cry at Ryan's Hope and Kate. And I must have. We didn't stop talking the whole week that we were shooting. Really? Yeah, yeah. She's, a, she's. See, I worried that she thought I was an obsessive wacko because I was totally, totally into that show. Well, she might still think that you're an obsessive <laughs> wacko, but she could, she's got to appreciate it. Nancy Addison, I think, is great. She was here oh. too. She Jillian. Yeah, Jillian. Jillian Colbert. And we also had Eileen Kristen. Delia Reed Ryan. Delia. Ryan and we had Helen Gallagher, Maeve Ryan. Oh, wow. We've wow, had them wow, all wow, pretty wow, much. Wow, wow, wow. We tried to get Malcolm Groom, but he's like a 
masseuse he, guy. No, I, I see him in yoga class. Yeah, he's a yoga. <laughs> yes. He's a yogi. Yes. Yeah, that's what he does. Now, also, I hear that you went and did this thing where you swim with the dolphins. Yes, I'm hosting a special for ABC about dolphins. It'll be on in September, and it was such an amazing experience. I, I didn't have, you know, dolphin posters in my room or stuffed animals, but when they asked if I wanted to do this, I realized what an educational experience it was going to be, and I had no idea the, the breadth of things I was going to learn. And probably one of the most unique ones was what sexual animals they are. Really? We think they're mammals, so they're very busy, you know, making sure that they keep the mammal population up underwater. Sure. And um, I actually had an encounter with, with one. They tell you to wear wetsuits because they really like flesh. Wait, what do you mean by that? I'm going places I shouldn't. <laughs> tell me what you mean. Okay, okay. They're, they they like human flesh, and um, I was in one of the waiting areas. I, I actually dove with them to 70 feet, and then I was swimming with them in, a, in a, a, a shallower area of water. And this dolphin, after we had finished shooting, I, I thought it was one that I had met before, a male dolphin. So he came up to me, and I thought, well, he recognizes my wetsuit because it's got pink in it. And he's swimming around and sort of lazily on his side and kind of winking up at me like this. And literally on his side with this flipper showing. The next thing I know, after he had come around me three or four times, he stuck his rostrum, which is his nose, right between my legs, went bam, 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 between my knees. And swam off. Hello, dolphin. Well, hello, <laughs> dolphin. <laughs> that is unreal. And I considered it. I was flattered, and it turns out that indeed they like human knees because they're situated in the same place that the sexual organs on a dolphin are. So it was a come on. <laughs> His name is Esteban. I call him Steve. <laughs> you call him Steve? <laughs> <laughs> You're dating now? It's going well. Listen, if it could work for a genie and an astronaut, you never know. <laughs> it could be a new sitcom next season. Now, I know Barbara's birth. First, let's tell everyone, fired up Thursdays. Watch it. 9.30. 9.30. Seinfeld, uh, an E-R-R-R, -R -R, you know. Sandwich. Yes, sandwich. Not a bad what place a, no, to be, I'd huh? be a piece of ham between those two <laughs> pieces yeah. of bread any day. Yeah, that's a great spot yeah. to be in. All right, now, it is Barbara's birthday, as you know, and I know that you auditioned for a musical when you were little. Well, actually, I sang, I know the song you're referring to, I sang it when I won Raleigh's Junior Miss pageant. Raleigh's Junior Miss. Yeah, 1979. What song Raleigh's is Junior it? Miss. It was, gee, how lucky can you get? And she did it very glamorous in this gown, and I did it as a Carol Burnett washerwoman. She did it in Funny Lady, right? Yeah, Funny yes. Lady. Yes, okay. Lady. Take it away, John, for Barbara's birthday. <laughs> Satin on my shoulder and a smile on my lips. How lucky can you get? Money in my pocket right at my fingertips. How lucky can you get? Every night's a party where the fun never ends. You could circle the globe with her circle of friends. Someone I am crazy for is crazy for me. I'm his personal pet. But oh dee oh dee oh dee, ain't she got fun? But oh dee oh dee, she's the luckiest one. But oh dee oh dee oh dee oh dee, she's the luck, the luck, the luck. Ah, the luck. And then she sings it real ballady. Yeah, that's what happens in the movie. You're a delight. Thank you very much for being here. It was a pleasure. All right.